Hello, welcome. Let's do something very, very, very interesting from the topic trigonometry. चलिए एक बढ़िया कॉन्सेप्ट डिस्कस करते हैं ट्रिग्नोमेट्री से और ये बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है जो हम डिस्कशन करेंगे बट आप ही डेवलप करोगे ओके <laughs> okay. जब हम ट्रिग्नोमेट्री की बात करते हैं तो हम हमेशा राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल की बात करते हैं सो लेट्स कंसीडर राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल दैट इज ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर जहां पे एंगल क्यू नाइनटी डिग्री है अब मुझे आप ये बताइए इस ट्राइंगल में एक एंगल नाइनटी है तो बाकी दोनों एंगल जो है दैट इज एंगल पी और एंगल आर इन दोनों का सम कितना होगा दैट इज एंगल पी प्लस एंगल आर इक्वल टू कितना होगा बताइए आप बोलोगे बहुत सिंपल है बिकॉज एक ट्राइंगल में तीनों एंगल का सम वन एटी होता है एक एंगल नाइनटी है तो बाकी दोनों एंगल मिला के कितना होगा we'll say it is 180 minus 90 that is 90 superb that means we can say that angle p plus angle r is equal to 90 degree isn't it ab mujhe ye pata hai ye in dono angle ka sum 90 hai do angles ka sum 90 hai to hum us pair of angle ko kya bolte hain <laughs> you are very correct we call them a complementary angles yes that means can we now say That यहां पे एंगल पी एंड एंगल आर दे आर वी कैन से दे आर कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी एंगल्स रिमेंबर दे आर कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी एंगल्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स एंड रिलेटेड टू ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोज ओके सुपर तो हम कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स के बारे में बात करें तो यहां पर एंगल पी एंड एंगल आर दे आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स तो चलिए अगर हमने एंगल पी का मेजर थीटा लिया तो एंगल आर का मेजर कितना होगा दोनों मिला के 90 है एक एंगल थीटा है तो दूसरे का मेजर कितना होगा 90 माइनस थीटा सुपर तो हम इन दोनों एंगल्स पे फोकस करेंगे विल फोकस ऑन थीटा एंड 90 माइनस थीटा ओके एज ए सेट वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियो यहां पर ओके तो आप बोलोगे पहला रेशियो तो है साइन रेशियो तो चलिए I want you to tell me what is the sine ratio of that or for that angle theta. That means I am asking you to find sine theta. Okay, आप बोलोगे वो तो हमें पता है. Sine of any angle is nothing but what? It is opposite side upon the hypotenuse. So, चलिए find करते हैं what is sine theta. You will say it's very simple. Sine of an angle is opposite side here, or the opposite side for theta is Q R, and the hypotenuse is P R. That means we'll write there Q R upon P R. Superb. अब आप बोलोगे sine find किया हमने. Let's find for this complementary angle. Let's find cos. Okay. That means we are going to find the cos for this angle 90 minus theta. Okay. So I'm saying we are finding cos of 90. Minus theta. Tell me what is cos? You will say cos is nothing but it is adjacent side upon the hypotenuse. Ninety minus theta के लिए adjacent side कौन सा? Q R upon the hypotenuse that is P R. So we will say it is nothing but it is Q R upon P R. Super. We got this. So now look at this. हमने साइन ऑफ थीटा फाइंड किया वैल्यू आया क्यू आर अपॉन पीआर हमने कॉस ऑफ 90 माइनस थीटा फाइंड किया उसका वैल्यू आया क्यू आर अपॉन पीआर तो आपको क्या मिला सिर्फ ये दोनों देखिए आप बताइए व्हाट इज द रिजल्ट आप बोलोगे तो इक्वल है <laughs> मतलब क्या इक्वल मिला साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू कॉस 90 माइनस थीटा ये हमें मिला तो चलिए लिख देते हैं तो हमने फर्स्ट रिजल्ट फाइंड किया दैट साइन ऑफ थीटा इज इक्वल टू कॉस ऑफ नाइनटी माइनस थीटा ये हमारा फर्स्ट रिजल्ट है जो हमें अभी मिला तो वेरी गुड ये रिजल्ट फाइन किसने किया आपने वेरी गुड इंटरेस्टिंग द रिजल्ट आपने डेवलप किया हमने सिर्फ ऑब्जर्व किया वेरी गुड तो चलिए तो एक रिजल्ट हमें मिला देर इज अ रिलेशन बिटवीन साइन एंड कॉस ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल जो थीटा और नाइनटी माइनस थीटा वहां पर साइन और कॉस में रिलेशन ओके okay? अब आपके दिमाग में एक चीज चलता होगा हमने अभी साइन टीटा के लिए साइन फाइन किया और 90 माइनस टीटा के लिए कॉस फाइन किया ओके okay. चलिए रिवर्स करते हैं दैट मीन लेट्स फाइंड आउट यस लेट्स फाइंड आउट साइन ऑफ 90 माइनस टीटा एंड कॉस ऑफ टीटा तो चलिए फाइंड करते हैं देखते हैं सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट साइन ऑफ 90 माइनस टीटा 
What is that? Sin is nothing but opposite side upon hypotenuse. So 90 minus theta ke liye opposite side kya hai? PQ. Upon the hypotenuse, what is that? PR. So we get it as PQ upon PR. Now you will say we are going to find cos of theta. So let's find that. Cos of theta. So what do we get? Cos theta kya hai? Cos theta you will say it is nothing but adjacent side upon the hypotenuse. So theta ka adjacent side hai. PQ hypotenuse hai. PR that means we got it as PQ upon PR. Ab check ki ji hume kya mila? Cos of theta PQ upon PR. Sin of 90 minus theta PQ upon PR. So dono hi equal hai. Very good. That means we got another result here. And what is that result? The result is we got cos of theta is equal to sin of 90 minus theta. Ye result hume mila hai. Superb. Isn't it? Wow. So we got two results. What is that? Sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta and cos theta is equal to sin 90 minus theta. Ye hume result mila. Kya hai ye? These are nothing but there is a relation between the sine ratio and the cos ratio of complementary angles. Ye hume relation mila. Isn't it? Agar ye humne use kiya, to his case up se abhi application case ho sakta. Agar mujhe sine of 40 degree diya hai. Now sine of 40 degree, sine of this angle will have a relation with the cos of the complementary of this. That is what you learned na. Sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. That means sine 40 degree ko hum kya lik sakte? Can be written as cos of 90 minus 40 isn't it yes that means hume kya milega sin of 40 degree is actually equal to cos of 90 minus 40 is 50 that means this is the relation which we will get isn't it 40 and 50 they are complementary angles because unka sum 90 hai to agar wo complementary hai so there is a relation between the sin and the cos of that and that is what we got isn't that interesting that is how you apply the sum isn't that interesting? Very, very simple. And develop kis ne kiya? Aap ne. To hum ne sikha kya? Sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. Cos theta is equal to sin 90 minus theta. Ab aap curious raho ge. Kya ye relation sirf sin or cos note hai? Complementary angles ka? Nain. Excited ho. To chali find karte ho. Curiosity hai. To wo se zahir si baat hai. Usko hum develop karenge. Develop hai. Hua hai. Curiosity to chale. Dekhte hai. Ho sakte hai. To aap bolo ge. Let's find the tan. And the cot now. So tan of theta and let's find the cot of 90 minus theta. Let's do that. So I'm asking you to find tan of theta. So you will say, okay, super, very easy. Tan of an angle is nothing but it is opposite side upon the adjacent side. So for theta, what is the opposite side? QR. What is the adjacent side? PQ. So we write it as QR upon PQ. Now let's find out cot. <laughs> cot of 90 minus theta. So let's do that. So now we are finding cot of 90 minus theta. And what is that? It is nothing but it is the adjacent side upon the opposite side. So 90 minus theta ke liye adjacent side kya hai? QR. Opposite side kya hai? PQ. So we write there. QR upon PQ. Now observe the result. Tan theta. QR upon PQ. Cot of 90 minus theta. QR upon PQ. That means we got another result. Super. What is that? Tan theta is equal to cot of 90 minus theta. Super. We got another result here. Now tell me, wasn't this interesting? Very, very, very interesting, right? <laughs> Super. Now you will say, in the same way, as we have done sin and cos, we have done tan theta and cot 90 minus theta. So now we reverse it. So now let's find out. Yes, we are going to find out what? We are going to find out cot of theta and tan of 90 minus theta. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Let's do that. So let's find out. Now we are going to find out the cot. Cot of theta. So what is cot of theta? Yes, for theta, cot is nothing but it is adjacent side upon the opposite side. So for theta, adjacent side is PQ, opposite side is QR. That means we get it as PQ upon QR. Very good. Now, yes, let's find tan of 90 
minus theta that is equal to tan is nothing but opposite upon the adjacent side opposite is pq adjacent is qr that means we get it as pq upon qr and that is nothing but cot of theta is equal to tan of 90 minus theta Superb! Wasn't this easy? Very, very, very simple. Who got this result? We got this result. We produced this result. You're creating it. You're creating it on your own. Isn't that easy? Superb! So we got the next result that is tan theta is equal to cot 90 minus theta and cot theta is equal to tan 90 minus theta. Superb! Amazing, isn't it? So, up the aapko char mile hai. Okay? So, aap bolo ke, wow! Aur ho sakta hai? अब बोलोगे हाँ साइन हो गया कॉस हो गया एक रिलेशन टैन और कॉट में हो गया अब आप बोलोगे हाँ दो है डेट इस सेकंड को से देखते हैं उसमें मिलता है तो चलिए देखते हैं सो लेट्स डू दैट सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट फॉर थीटा लेट्स फाइंड आउट सेक एंड फॉर 90 माइंस थीटा लेट्स फाइंड आउट कोसे लेट्स डू दैट now, when we say sec, we know what is the definition of sec. Sec is nothing but, yes, it is. What is that? It is hypotenuse upon adjacent side. So, for theta, hypotenuse is PR and the adjacent side is PQ. That means we are writing it as PR upon PQ. Okay. Now, I'll say let's find out cosec of 90 minus theta. So, let's find out cosec of 90 minus theta. We have find out what we have 90 minus theta cosec is nothing but it is hypotenuse upon the opposite side. Yes, hypotenuse is PR and the opposite side is nothing but it is PQ. So, we have PR upon PQ. Superb! So, what do you think? 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 Theta is equal to cosec 90 minus theta. Superb! तो चलिए एक रिजल्ट मिल गया इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी नाइस आप बोलोगे चलिए अभी फाइंड करते हैं थीटा के लिए हम फाइंड करेंगे कोसेक और 90 माइनस थीटा के लिए हम फाइंड करेंगे सेक सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट यस कोसेक थीटा सो लेट्स राइट इट कोसेक थीटा कोसेक वी नो इज नथिंग बट इट इज हाइपोटेन्यूस अपॉन द ऑपोजिट साइड सो फॉर थीटा हाइपोटेन्यूस वी नो इज पीआर और ऑपोजिट साइड क्या है क्यूआर तो हम लिखेंगे PR upon QR सुपर अब फाइंड करते हैं वेरी गुड वील फाइंड सेक ऑफ 90 माइनस थीटा एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट इट इज हाइपोटेन्यूस अपॉन द एडजेसेंट साइड यस हाइपोटेन्यूस वी नो इज PR और 90 माइनस थीटा के लिए एडजेसेंट साइड क्या है QR वेरी गुड दैट मींस हमें क्या मिला यस we got that there is a relation between that. That means they are equal. What is that? Let's write it down there. So what do we get? We get cosec theta is equal to sec 90 minus theta. And this is what we got. Tell me, wasn't that interesting? Very interesting. So we got sec theta is equal to cosec 90 minus theta and cosec theta is equal to sec 90 minus theta. And this is what we got. So how many results did we get in all? We got totally six results here. Wasn't this easy? And this is what? Who produced this? Who discovered this? You did it. You did it right now. Isn't it? Interesting, hai ki nahi? Bohot, bohot, bohot interesting. So remember, what we have learned is what is it? You said it is a relation. What is this relation? What is it? In trigonometric ratios. Ke beech mein relation. Okay, but trigonometric ratios of what? of complementary angles. That means जो हमने ये छः चीजें सीखी हैं, जो अभी हमने develop किया है, this is nothing but this is called as the relation between the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles, and that is what we right now discovered and we learnt it. Wasn't that easy? So हमने ऐसे छः relations पढ़े हैं. What is that? Relation between the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. So इसे बाहर नहीं करना है, समझना है. हमने क्या किया? Relation find किया. किसके बीच में? Trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. And what is that? Sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. Cos theta is equal to sin 90 minus theta. That means it's very simple. Relation kiske beech mein? Sin and cos. Sin and cos, cos and sin. Sin and cos, cos and sin. Aise yaad rikki. 
right? That means sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. Cos theta is equal to sin 90 minus theta. Same way, Apollo, okay, there is a relation between tan and cot. Tan and cot, cot and tan. Tan and cot, cot and tan. Same way, it is between cosec and sec. Cosec and sec, sec and cosec. Cosec and sec, sec and cosec. And that is how you remember. And you are going to apply this in beautiful sums based on this concept. So, this concept you have understood because you have created it. So, you have to practice it again and practice it again. By heart, nahi karna hai. so much ke lena hai. because you could discover karna. so it is very, very, very interesting. And now you have understood this. So, as I said, practice this and remember it very well, right? And it is going to be very, very, very interesting ahead. Aage hum sum solve karenge or itne sare concepts hum ne seek liye hai. Wo concepts pe hum aage videos mein sum solve karne wale hai. And it's a, going to be a beautiful journey. So, milte hai next video mein. Tab tak ke liye video ko like ki jiye, share ki jiye and subscribe ki jiye channel ko. And keep learning, keep smiling.